Hello friends, Coach Bob with you today, and today we are getting prepared to go to the DeLand Spider Rally. However, when I, I say... Did I hear the word we? We? No, not In we. other words, me and Kai's are, we're gonna go. Nope. Hi, I'm here and well and alive. I'm not going. Why not? Because I'm preoccupied. What are you preoccupied with? With other stuff. What other stuff? Well, I gotta finish up my swim stuff. Okay. And... Your swim stuff. My swim stuff. <laughs> because our banquet is on Tuesday. Yep. So, Coach Vic, you know, felt bad. In fact, it was funny. The other day we were having a, a talk and she was like, I have to go. I have to go with you because I promised you I would. I have to go. I mean, I want to go. I really do want to go. And she was go, really stressed. But I got things I got to tie up. I like the longer trips. I'm not into the little, the little long. Um, day trips? Day, no, what do you call those? Weekend. Rallies. I'm not really into the rallies. So, but, but this I'll is a spider to, rally. I was going to go, but I didn't finish my stuff I had to get finished. You know she's getting serious when she starts a little hand back, hand clap. And that's I when didn't you know. want to go and be stressed out. Well, look, the truth is she had a lot to do. And I said, you know, look, you don't have to go. If you're really stressing about this, you need to stay home and do what you need to do. So uh, Louisiana Mike rrote in yesterday. Uh, he had a, a nice meeting with the uh, Florida State Patrol apparently last That's night. Insane. We won't talk about the uh, miles over or any of that, but we'll just say the police officer has, has dyslexia. The, the, I, it, there's no way he was going as fast as they said. There's just no way. But anyway, that's a story for a different time, but I'm going to get ready to put this thing in the wind because I'm supposed to leave here at 10 o'clock and it is 10 o'clock. All right. But he will come home to some Rice Krispie treats. So I can make Rice Krispie treats while Nice, he's gone. nice. I look so forward to So I that. will do something. So originally I planned on not doing a whole lot today, but it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. I know. So I'm going to do as much as I can Scary. today, really cram today full of activities with the rally. And then tomorrow get up and just do what I can. And tomorrow afternoon, plan on doing the four hour ride home in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Better you than me. Yeah. So, I went for a ride the other night. Oh, actually, went for a ride with a Hedis Hedis World, um, Barbara and Bob, and we were driving back from our dinner. It was late at night because you know it got it got cooler, and I'm like, we rode it, and I wasn't really um, bundled up. I'm like, we rode. This isn't even really that cold, it, but we it, rode in this weather from Maine to and from Maine in weather colder than this with rain. I said for hours at a time. We did a 10-hour day that was 20 degrees colder than it was. The and other I was night like, and raining. And I was like, I'm already cold after five. You know, just for a 20-minute ride the other day. And I'm like, what was I thinking? I did this for out for days. It's crazy. You're a crazy person. How did I handle that? I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I look back at a video every now and then and see all the rain and the shivering. I'm like, what was I thinking? How did I? How, how did you do it? How did I do that? I don't know. You're just amazing. I guess when you're on a mission, you just get you're it on done. A mission. You just go one wheel at a time. That's one right. wheel at a one time. One wheel turn. One mile at a time, right? Well, I call it one wheel at a time. Yeah. <laughs> one wheel turn at a time, but one all mile right. at a time. All right. Well, I gotta load this thing up. And get out of here, mom. You don't because feel like Mike's, waiting on, Mike's waiting on me. He I chit chat all day. Now. I chat all day, man. Otherwise. He's dissing me. <laughs> I, I would never. Not in a million That's years. That's why I haven't been on the channel. He's been dissing me. Don't believe that. Don't you believe that. He's been telling me, you can go do your thing. You can go do your thing. He doesn't <laughs> want me on the channel. I always want her on the channel. In fact, comment down below. We need more Coach Vic. I know. I've been just barely preoccupied. I've been camera shy and preoccupied. It's okay. I really have been. It's okay. You've been busy. I understand. Swim's over and we got a lot going on. Yeah. Well, then I have a Christmas. wedding to plan. All right. So. So he's in it for He's in it again. Again. All right. So. And a trip to San Diego to plan. Yes, we do. But we're not doing a Can-Am. We're driving. So. No, we're not doing a Can-Am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I got to roll. Maybe should we make a video while we're driving in a car to San Diego? We'll make some videos. See if <laughs> okay, well, I got to put this thing in the wind because Mike's waiting on me. Mike, it's not his fault. It's my fault when you see this video. All right, brother. I'll see you in a minute. Let's get Louisiana Mike, hit the road. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a little gas, do our thing this morning. We're starting a little late. He got in late last night, so uh, we're trying to make sure he's well rested. Uh, got a four hour ride, pretty much. 
getting over there. Could be a little longer than that, but but four for sure, and that's without any stops. So I'll bet you we can run right up here. I won't even find him though. See if we see a spider anywhere. Uh huh. There it is. So there's his spider. I'll run back up by the front and pick him up. Let them do their work over there, and I'll just park right here. All right, let's get the let's get the spider Mike. There he is. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? <laughs> you dragging? Bandit. I'm bandit. <laughs> you made it, man. Well, we are well on our way. We're uh, roughly 100 miles into the trip, and things are going smoothly. We're going to make one stop, I think, somewhere along the line, probably here in about 30, 40 miles. We'll have about 80 miles left by the time we stop, probably. Something like that. It's a beautiful ride, nice and cool, overcast. I hope to get to see a few folks over in Deland. Don't know if there will be anybody I know or not. I've gotten some emails, you know, uh, Louisiana Mike's with me, and... Um, spider Pops, I was uh, told that uh, by a, a fellow that runs the uh, Hot Springs uh, Spider folks up in Arkansas that he was going to be there. I look forward to meeting him and some of those guys. Enjoy the ride as we uh, put in the last uh, 120, 130 miles. One stop for gas and then D-Land. Here we come. little mojo going on up here something's going on the last time I was on this road of a big log truck a log truck had flipped um, looks like um, something's going on with a trailer of some kind running up through here if he jackknifed or something oh yeah getting the old bent up trailer out of there so something happened <laughs> Run us through the post office. <laughs> Matt was trying to talk to me, wasn't it? That's uh, all right. We are good to go now. Bada bing, bada boom, just like that. making progress we are almost to Ocala man getting surrounded by the big rigs <laughs> these beautiful horse farms when you get around Ocala I did a 100 mile bike ride years ago called the horse farm 100 beautiful ride it rode you all through these areas where all these horse farms are it's just miles and miles and miles of beautiful fencing and green pasture land very very impressive estates um, just just wonderful just a wonderful part of the country
All right, so we are in the land now. I did kind of do a drive-by as I was as I was coming in, and got a small glimpse of what was going on. I'm not sure exact the exact location. I know it's somewhere up over here off the left, but I haven't ridden up there, so I wanted wanted you with me to be able to get the first glance and experience the Deland Spider Rally for the first time with me. One thing that seems to be a recurring theme whenever I am out and about, I, I realize how big the spider community really has gotten, um, and it is growing. You're starting to see these things everywhere, and it's really cool. You can see the tents up here on the left, so we're going we're gonna to turn here. I would assume this is where I'm going. All right. Now, for those of us who are into the big motorcycle rallies, you know, where you're talking hundreds of thousands of people, um, this may seem very small. However, this is exactly how those rallies got started. It's hard to believe that. It's hard to even imagine that. But it doesn't make it any less true. So I'm going to park right here. This looks perfect. So as you can see, there's a lot of spiders here, a lot of tricked out spiders. So let's grab a, a camera out of the back and uh, do the walk around, check it all out. Soak in the sights, so to speak. All right, here we go. Coach Bob? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yes, it is. Good morning, Rob. I'm doing great. I'm watching all your YouTube videos, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, man. Yeah, I was Can I get my picture with you? Absolutely, you can. <laughs> Make sure you get my good side. Oh, wait. That's my good side. Wait, wait. Get my good side. <laughs> this is good side. <laughs> this is going to be fun, though. I can tell. Great. I am too. I'm Coach Bob. Oh my goodness! I've been wanting to meet you so I've been wanting to meet you, man. I, I last. You need to take your cap off so I see. You. Oh, it's it's me. <laughs> I have the noggin print. Your uh, worship on spider. Uh huh. I sent her the link to it. Every yeah, I know. Did you watch? Did you watch? Yeah. It? Well, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. So they've got the tattoo. You're right. Now this is. The lady that was engraving the uh, windshields and painting all that stuff. That's the lady that was just up there talking to me. I think her name's Sarah, if I'm not mistaken. That's her shop over there. And that's her son right there. Wind wings, okay. And I, what I want to see, I want to see the wheels on this spider. All right, I have, I have to look at this. I have to see the wheels on this spider. Those are cool. It just says old hot rod to me. It's called Bonneville. I can see why they would be. <laughs> Those are awesome. Is this yours? It's my wife's. Okay, that's a beautiful machine. Coach Bob. Yes, it is. That's me. That's right. <laughs> I'm yeah. Coach Ray, Bob. Ray and Linda. We went to the Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, ago. man? Ray and Linda. Yes. <laughs> There's a crack in the time space continuum. Yes. Everybody's right. here. <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good to see you. I've heard of you and I've seen some of your stuff on, uh, on the YouTube. Oh, so, thank you, man. I appreciate you watching. Yeah, that's beautiful. So now the stickers. So do you guys have like a company you're going through to do this or? Uh, wrap my spider. Wrap my spider. They'll do, they do standard stuff because they'll do custom, custom work as well. Because, you know, not, it's a lot of it is also, it's not just what it says, it's the shape of it. Even if it was just the matte black sticker with nothing on it, it looks great. Sure, yeah. And, and these are also wraps right here. Is this just this, a matte this, finish? This, yeah, that's a matte finish. Okay. This was this model was called the triple black because it had the matte black, right? It had the gloss black, and and uh, they considered this kind of a gray black. It had three different shades of black. Well, that is beautiful, and that is a cool antenna, man. Check the wheels on that black on the orange. Oh, nice little spike there, brother. <laughs> That's HD. That's HD stuff right there, man. Like it. So where'd you get those center caps? Bavaria. Uh, Martin DeBlogger. Yes. He, he makes them.
get to go hang out with a real YouTuber. Right, so I'm leaving ISCI. Uh, Mike is probably going crazy here because I've been here for, we've been here, what, two hours and we've been to two different booths. <laughs> uh, we talked to Spider Pops over there. Awesome, the legendary Spider Pops. Man, let me tell you, that guy, absolute total class, charisma, wonderful, wonderful human being. It was amazing the things that we had in common apart from spiders. We'll just say life experiences that we have in common. And it was just absolutely exceptional to talk with him. Um, I, I could have sat over there all day. And then went over to ISCI, and I believe the guy's name is Jeff. Wonderful guy, family business, does everything out of his own shop. Just super high quality stuff. They're the guys making the handbrakes for the spider. I just can't say enough about these guys. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little walk around. We're gonna walk around and look at some spiders real quick. And then we're gonna go get some grub. You hungry? Oh yeah. Oh, he's hungry. It's time. Don't don't get in front of Louisiana Mike when he's hungry. I talked to Riker Rides up there. She's awesome. If you're not a subscriber to her channel, I know she's her channel's probably twice the size of this one. However, if there's any of you that do not subscribe to Beth's channel, make sure you do it because it's really important. Help her channel grow. Coach Bob. Coach Bob. Hey, Coach Bob. No, okay. Yes. Coach Bob. Now I recognize him. Yes. Oh, yeah. Even if it's raining, you're only going to get wet. This is how you can tell you're famous and legendary when you have your own code. Me, I have two sticks and a smoke signal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we had a good time at the rally, hanging out with uh, Spider Pops and ISCI Break, and a lot of folks, man, a lot of Spider people, Riker people, uh, Beth from Riker Rides. It has just been great. This has been awesome. I am so glad I made the trip over here. Tomorrow is supposed to be a very, very inclement day. A lot of rain and nastiness. Um, I plan on riding back tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I could leave a little bit earlier if the weather's just going to be ugly and I'm just going to be hanging out in the rain anyway. Uh, what the heck, you know, might as well roll. But this is Jim in front of us. He is a subscriber to the channel. Reached out kindly and uh, asked about going to get some grub. So we're going we're gonna to go get some food here in a sec. Let's roll, baby. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Woo! been a really like I said this if you get a chance to come to this event if you're a spider rider but yeah you just have to come here it's it's um this is well worth the trip the climate has been absolutely perfect I'm hoping that the uh, the rain scare for tomorrow will be just that a scare seems all too often we get to these rallies you you block your time and then it rains the whole time I know that can be frustrating but just there again just try to enjoy every moment of it because it's worth it. It's worth it. We have decided to get some Cuban food, which I love. So we're going to roll up here and do that. Have a little conversation. The land's happening, man. The land is happening. 
Yes, yes, yes. I am impressed. We're going to go downtown also where Stetson University is, I believe. It's beautiful down there. It's been years since I've been down there. So hopefully I can get some footage of that if it's not too dark. Um, I really would like to see it because I know it's pretty. Yes, I said pretty. But I'm going to steal. I can't remember the subscriber's name. If I can, if I can find it, I'll drop it right here. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's cracking down there. Yeah, it's cracking. I'm using it. I'm, look, exercising my European flair. It's cracking. <laughs> I love it, man. I'm going to tell you, you guys from England, you guys from over there on the other side of the pond, I need you guys to teach me some of your vernacular so I can quit sounding like a little South Georgia hick from the sticks. So keep the comments coming from Europe so I can broaden my horizon and sound like you guys. I love it. I think it's awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so here we are in that little downtown, entering the downtown area. Notice the trees, man, with the Spanish moss hanging. Just absolutely beautiful. This is what I remembered. This is so pretty. I hope that it's not so dark that you're not getting this. The GoPros don't do well in low light, but this is so beautiful. Check them out. Check them out, calisthenics. I love it. Would you look at that? My goodness. Just lovely. I love it. I'm going to tell you folks, I could live here. This is so pretty. And the pace is fast enough to have something to do and slow enough that it's not off the chart. This is really beautiful. Check it out, man. All the little cafes, little restaurants. It's almost like a little French Quarter down here. Just beautiful. This reminds me a lot of that Savannah and, uh, and New Orleans feel. The Deland Spider Rally, man, you've got to get here. Is this cool or what? You know, if you've never been to DeLand and, you know, you just get this whatever picture in your mind of what it is or it isn't, you think, you know, just small Florida town. It is that, but man, it's so much more. And here we are at Chica's Cuban Cafe. Awesome, awesome. Hope we can get in here. This place looks pretty crowded, don't it? This place is packed, y'all. That's a cool truck. Nice lighting, huh? I'll park. I can. And I will. There you go. Look at that. All right. Let's get this stuff shut down and get in here and eat. So here we are. Yes. Hi, how you doing? All right, thank you so much. All right, so day two of the Deland Spider Rally. As you can see, the weather is somewhat inclement. You probably got a lot of wind noise, and that's okay. One of the questions I'm often asked is, why do you not run a camera in the rain? We really would like to get your rain experience. Now today, I have 240 miles roughly to get back to Tallahassee. It's gonna be in rain the entire time. How you doing, man? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be in the rain the whole time. So what I've done is I've put a GoPro 7 on the front of my helmet. Um, 
and I'll be turning it on and off throughout the entire trip so you can get the experience of what it's really like to do a day in the rain, not just a few miles in the rain, but to do a full day in the rain. Uh, I'll, here's, a, here's a picture of what I'm looking at. But yeah, it's that bad. The whole state's covered uh, right now. Um, it's, I think, mid-60s here or high 50s. Um, in Tallahassee right now, Coach Vic said it's pouring down rain and 44 degrees. So it's going to be a cold ride, going to be a fun ride. And we're going to get on the road and do this because it's going to be great. Uh, Louisiana Mike has decided that he is going to roll with me today in the rain. Uh, I salute him for his effort because I know that uh, this, these, these rides oftentimes are a lot of work. Our goal today is to do an hour to an hour and a half each time, get off the get off the spider, dry off, clean the face shields, do another hour, hour and a half, do another hour, hour and a half. You do that four or five times, you're there. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna put the helmet on, we're gonna start a camera up, and we're gonna ride. Enjoy the rain. That's what we're gonna do. Come along for a ride. You might learn something. So we are 60 miles in. Um, last little stretch was pretty windy. Uh, this is what I use. I had some people ask me what I use on the windshield and stuff. I just use this. It's a hard ceramic wax um, made by Meguiar's. I use this on everything. Every time I stop when it's raining, although I know it's gonna get water on it again, I wipe it down with that. It repels the water pretty nicely. It's not perfect, but it does a good job. Could rain x or something like that do a better job? Maybe, but this is what I know. It doesn't damage anything. And if it gets on anything else, it, it, it works fine on anything. Plastics, glass, any of that sort of stuff. So it's just safe, and I get, I've gotten used to it. Um, anyway, we're going to head about 60, 70 miles down the road. We'll figure out where our next stop is here in just a few minutes. But we're going to get through this uh, little stretch here uh, as we go over 75. The wind, when it picked up, got pretty pretty uh, crazy there for a little while. Uh, I think the camera's working on the uh, GoPro on the uh, helmet, but I can't hear it turn on and off, so it's, uh, it's hit and miss for me. So hopefully we're getting some footage. we got to get back on the road and get rolling before it gets any worse, because uh, up, up in the panhandle, it's looking a little nasty. We'll get, as we get closer, I'm thinking some of that's going to break up. Uh, that's, the, that's the hope anyway. So anyway, we're going to roll. Let's do this. All right, so you've heard of trial by fire today. My brother Mike has been baptized. That's right. Cold brother? Don't come here, you'll freeze to death. <laughs> and he's from Florida. How is that possible, man? Yesterday, dry, clear, beautiful, and today, 200 plus miles and nothing but rain. I'll tell you, the wind has been the real challenge. A lot of cool things going on, though. The ride's been beautiful. It is a little chilly, I'm not going to lie. Once you get wet and it's in the 40s, if the camera looks like it's shaking, it's good. It's kind of shaking. 
anyway we're about 45 miles out of tallahassee so we're we're about there so not not too shabby it's been a fun ride I, the challenging ones are always more fun to me i love that it's getting colder it's in the 40s now <laughs> here we go Just like that, it was like a snap of the fingers. There was nothing to it. Wasn't cold, wasn't wet. It was just like, poof. Nothing to it. There's Coach Vic's little yapper dog. And this is Kaiser. Come on, Kaiser. Come on, dog. Let's go inside. Come on. Come on. So, Coach Vic, did you hold the fort down okay? I sure did. You look pretty. Oh, I do? Yeah, you got your little ball cap on. You look I all went dapper. out in the rain today, you look yeah. pretty. Oh, you you're so warm. Did you see what's over there? You better show those. Oh, that right there's trip tonight, y'all, for, for a dieting man. Yeah. I love me some Rice Krispie treats. Come on, dogs. Come on, now. All right. We're going to eat some grub. Well, I want to thank Louisiana Mike and Spider Pops and Beth from Riker Rides, ISCI Breaks, Jim for dinner, and all of the great people that I met while I was out there at the rally. It was a really, really good time. If you get a chance to go there, man, you definitely got to check out the Deland Spider Rally. It is really, really special. So there it is, the Deland Spider Rally and the trip there and back. The rain, well, it was just the rain. No big thing. Just a more fun riding the spider. So do me a favor. Go out by the motorcycle of your dreams. Eat right. Take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you are most definitely doing it wrong. Now I look forward to seeing you on the road real soon.